Hi, I'm Jake Lorraine with HighResponseMarketing.com and PrintingForSuperCheap.com and I got behind me 7,500 EDDM postcards, every door direct mail that I'm doing for one of our clients. It's Veterans Day, the post offices are closed, so we thought this would be a great day to actually show you how to put one of these together. It is very frustrating if you don't know what you're doing and then you end up in your living room or something with 10,000, 5,000 of these postcards and you mess something up or you don't know how to prepare it right or get, you get it to the post office. What if you get there and they turn you down and they say you didn't do it right and now you paid for all this postage you have a bunch of postcards you don't know what to do. So I'm gonna solve that for you pretty quickly. If it's the wrong size, you could, you could print all these go to the post office and they'll turn you away. This is your standard size postcard. This is not EDDM compliant, but this is your normal four by six postcard. They're, they're kind of small. Um, EDDM is big, it's really, really big. So the, the smallest size EDDM that you can send is this, which is six and a half by nine compared to a small postcard. That's a pretty big, that's a big giant postcard. And that's the smallest. So this is the most cost effective size, six and a half by nine. And it's great for a single business advertising. Uh, it really stands out in the mail, especially if you got a lot of colorful, it sticks out, which is nice. That's what's great about EDDM. The next size is six by 11. And I really like this size. I think that if you really wanna make a big statement and you wanna send out Something that's really going to stand out, 6x11 is probably the most cost effective that you can use. It's still not crazy expensive, it's not like massively sized, but it, st it really stands out. If you're stuff that really sticks out. The one that we're going to do today is 6 and a half by 12 so that's slightly bigger than 6x11. It gives you a little more space, some people like that. That's 6 and a half by 12 it's a popular option. Then you start going into 8 and a half by 11 which is this size. That's really big. That's the size of a, of a sheet of paper. Put that against other mail and that really, really, really sticks out. But of course it does cost more. That's like a, a little billboard that arrives in the mail. It's big. Then you have, you want to go even bigger, you have this, the nine by 12. And this thing is just massive. Hold that up, sir. <laughs> Those are huge. If, if it's a small mailbox, they'll roll them up like a, like a taco. They'll roll them up with the other mail, which helps it really stand out too. You can technically go bigger, you can go up to 12 by 15, but it's really expensive. And it's really hard for the mail carriers to actually deliver those. So I would stick with nine by 12 being your biggest, six and a half by nine being the smallest, and then eight and a half by 11, and six and a half, six by 11 and six and a half by 12 as the other options. I've got uh, Sarah, my girlfriend, partner. What is that? I call her all different <laughs> things. We're just technically not married, but we've been together a long time. Well, we've been doing EDDMs together for now close to 10 years, and we're going to try to save you some time and frustration on how to fulfill your EDDM campaigns. EDDMs are great. They're great for businesses, churches, political campaigns, anywhere that you want to just saturate a whole neighborhood or area and put a postcard in everyone's mailbox. I mean, you've got all your postcards. Maybe they arrived uh, in these boxes like this, most likely. Take them out of the boxes and put them out somewhere. Now your postcards may, if you got them from me or you got them from a printer that offers banding, I would suggest getting them bundled into 100s. Don't do 50s, that'll take twice the work. Do it in 100s. This helps the mail carriers manage them when they're on the mail trucks. It's much easier than that sliding all over the place. But if you have a smaller mailing, like 2,500 pieces or a thousand pieces, there's actually a little shortcut on how you can band these together quicker. Sarah's gonna show you. Sarah, count out, let's assume Sarah's counted out 100 cards. So manually count out 100. Then all you do is take another stack of postcards and you, you match it up to the height. Now you automatically know it's 100. You might be off one or something, totally fine and then you can just make then you just put a rubber band you can use thin rubber bands whatever it doesn't really matter and band them up that's the first thing that you'll need to do so get all your postcards out of the boxes onto some area 
and band them into 100s. Then you're gonna print the paperwork off. So we're gonna go over and print our paperwork. I'm gonna show you a huge time saver and money saver too. Uh, so let's get to that. This is what the paper is gonna, the initial paperwork is gonna look like. There's this thing right here. This is actually where we're gonna need to focus on. What this thing does is it shows you how many uh, routes are in the mailing, how many mailing routes are in the mailing, the ones that you picked, and how many pieces are in each route. See this one is 588. So you're gonna need, and this is carrier route C053. It printed out one of these which is a facing slip. Since there's 588, you're gonna need six of these. You're gonna need six facing slips because you're gonna need five of 100 and you're gonna need one of 88. So every single, Sarah, put one facing slip. And you can fold them or whatever, but we do them this way. So every bundle gets one of these, and then you'll write, you get a pen? Yeah. So it'll be six bundles because there's 588 total, so there's five of 100 and one of 88. And then she'll go to the next route and do two of six, three of six, four of six. And then the final one will have 88 pieces. Now we print them all out and we do it exactly like that, but that generates a lot of facing slips. You're gonna be printing a lot because every route like that's six. You're gonna be printing out 40, 50 facing slips depending on the size of the mailing. And if you don't have a printer that has enough ink to do that or you don't wanna spend that much, or maybe you've gotta to go to the library or something and print these, there's a shortcut that you can do, which is you can just take, Sarah, grab a blank piece of paper. You can just take, printer paper and you can cut it in half so you get two. You could technically even do four, but half's a little easier. And then you just write the information. So you'd write the carrier route and then how many pieces? Uh, one of six. And you do 100 pieces. pieces. Mm. It's been a while since we wrote those ones out. Don't write them. If you're short on ink, you don't want to spend much, or you don't even have a printer, you can just print the main paperwork at your library or even at your post office. They have the machines there. I think most libraries give you a, a certain amount of, pr of printing for free, too. And just do the rest on these, these uh, little shortcut ones. It's also a really good idea to stop at your local post office and pick up these. These are postal tubs, I call them tubs, I'm not really sure what their technical term is, but if you say tubs, they'll give you, they'll give you all these you need. And you're gonna want one for every route. So if you've got 10 routes that this is going to, you're gonna want 10 tubs. You can, if you don't have the tubs, you can just put it back into the boxes that the postcards came in. So as long as you just don't damage them, just put them back in the boxes and put them in, load them into your car that way. You can fit quite a bit in a, in a trunk. I think you can probably fit a good three, three to 5,000 of them inside your trunk. Once they're there, you simply just, once you've got them all into the tubs, you simply just go to the post office that the paperwork tells you. It's gonna tell you when you do your, when you process your paperwork online, it's gonna tell you where to go. And that's it, you, that's how you do your EDDM campaign. Well, you just mad because the employees do a better job than you do of it? Take the L, take the L. <laughs> okay, well, I need another hundred.